you extended the grid view class from the .NET framework and added new functionality to it in the previous lesson. That's lesson 5.1. In this lesson, you'll add your new extended grid view control to a page and use its new functionality. To begin, open the StableBase project from your Sample Files folder. And open horses.aspx in source view. Before you can use your own classes as controls, you'll need to add a tag prefix to the page. The default tag prefix is ASP. It's currently being used by every control on this page. For example, ASP link data source. The ASP tag prefix tells ASP.NET to look in the system.web.ui.web controls namespace for the control. Scroll to the very top of the page now and add a new line just after the percent at page tag. Now add the following code on the new line. Percent at register tag prefix equals TSM namespace equals stable base assembly equals stable base. This code creates a new tag prefix named TSM. The TSM tag prefix will look in the StableBase namespace for its controls. That's the default namespace of this project. The extended grid view class is in the StableBase namespace. You created the extended grid view class in Lesson 5.1. Now you're going to replace the ordinary grid view control on this page with your extended grid view control. Scroll down until you see the code for the grid view horse control. Now change the code ASP colon grid view to TSM colon extended grid view. Notice that when you change the starting tag, Visual Studio automatically applies your changes to the ending tag. You have now replaced the standard grid view control on this page with your custom extended grid view control. Next, you're going to use the extended functionality of your new extended grid view control. Open the code behind file of horses.aspx and in the grid view horse row command event handler, remove the lines that begin int row clicked and int horse id and replace them with int horse id equals grid view horse dot get id from row e dot command argument you created the get id from row method in Lesson 5.1. It's now much easier to retrieve the horse ID value and requires less code. Test your code now by viewing horses.aspx in your web browser. When the page loads, click one of the View Details links. Your extended grid view control works perfectly and the correct horse's details are displayed. You don't have to limit yourself to extending controls. It's possible to extend any class, including classes that you've created yourself. Extending classes can be very useful, as you've seen in this example. 
but it's important to be careful when extending classes. A large structure of classes extending one another can become very hard to manage. I recommend that you only extend classes when it makes your code simpler. If extending a class makes things more complicated, it is probably a step backwards. Note that you could accomplish the same thing that you did in this lesson by using a web user control. Web user controls are usually easier to use as they can automatically register a tag prefix. You will learn about web user controls in lesson 8.4. Close your web browser now and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 5.2. Add an extended control to a page.